Okay, this is Offshore Electric, so we're going to go through hooking up a 240 HV swordfish. Uh, we got our USB link, we got a Y adapter, and we got the speed control. It's important to keep the speed control switch off. And we're going to start out by, uh, with Microsoft Windows, we're going to open Device Manager. Take Device Manager, as you take on an open Device Manager, you want to open your uh, port settings. First, we're going to take the linker, and we're going to put it in our USB. If you notice now, we're going to take and we're going to look and we're going to see that it's going to refresh and it says USB to UART bridge and it's telling us the COM port. Now we're going to take the Y harness, take the short end, plug that into the long end, making sure your polarities are correct. We're going to take the positive and negative, connect that to the positive and negative of the speed control. So long to short and short to long. Excuse my dirty hands. Then we're going to take, when I look on the USB link, we should see a little red light. Now we're going to take and plug in the speed control receiver switch, excuse me, uh, receiver wire. The COM port is now going to update again. You'll see it refresh. The reason I kept this open is just so everyone could see that. It's refreshing every time we do a step. Then we're going to take and just basically just turn on the switch. Once we turn on the switch, everything should be powered up. We should be able to open up Swordfish program and Let's see here. Select our COM port. Open our COM port. Connect. Now we're connected and everything updated on the right. So now you now you know you're connected, you read it, read something, and uh, you read something from the speed control. Now if we want to update, we can just take and update our LVC, say we're gonna to go to 21. Click update. Now it tells us where we're updated. And that's about it. This is Offshore Electrics signing off.